Okay, so what so what can you name me the parts on a cylinder head here? Oh, uh, well of course this is the crank. This is the crankshaft. Okay. This is where all the power comes out. It goes out here, the, the propeller mounts on the crankshaft and, and it spins. Of course, the propeller is gonna be great big. Uh, and inside of here is a crankshaft where, uh, this would be like the master cylinder. Oh, the top one's the master? Usually, yeah. Uh, I suppose it could be another one, but uh, this would be the master cylinder. And in most of all these air engines out here, the master cylinder is the only only cylinder that connects to the crankshaft. Oh. These cylinders connect to the master cylinder. So they're all going around like this. And as this one is, he's on a compression stroke on this side, he's doing an intake movement on this time and sucking air into the cylinder. It explodes and and it makes it go around and they all go fire off in their turn. Uh, and where's the intake and exhaust on? That'd be on the back, back here. That'd be in this area down here. The carburetor would be down in, uh, down in this area, down here in the bottom, in the lower part. Uh, a lot of the round engines, the carburetor's kind of up towards the top, uh, but these openings, right here, this is the crank case going in. So I would assume this is air coming in here. There's another one over there. And from there it blows out and distributes out into these pipes or it goes right into the cylinders. Cause this is an intake pipe right here. Yes, it's coming out of, it's coming out of the blower section right. of the engine. Now, after, after the, uh, the cylinder fires, and and uh, and makes exhaust. You have the exhaust part. This this would be where the exhaust would come out of the cylinder. So the gas comes in this way from the blower, and it, it uh, as this goes around, the piston goes down and sucks it in, and then it, uh, as it makes its turn around, will push the piston up and compress uh, the, the pressure in here and to compress the fuel. And when it reaches it, its top point. The spark plug right here will fire and drive the piston down, or and in these cases down here, it drives and it makes the crankcase go around. And all that's happening out there, brrrr, <laughs> it's happening really fast. There's a lot of activity goes on inside these engines. And this is a small engine. Uh, let's take a picture or so of the big uh, 14, 1340s out there on the on the uh, Goonie Bird, a lot more complicated. Same basic principle, only a lot more of it. Or then you get a B29 engine, a lot more of it. <laughs> a lot more pistons, a lot more push rods, a lot more valves. Because B29 is a radial. Yeah, big radial. That's the biggest one that, well, there was a 4360, but there was only one or two airplanes that had that because right after that, that it, they invented a thing called jet. And that was about the last of the combustion engines, the big combustion engines.